a few short words, no pun intended, <laughs> with our illustrious leader, Annette. Thank you very, very much. Running for district supervisor has given me a very great opportunity to really start to begin to learn about what's happening in our county. And much to my chagrin, I find that this is something I should have done just as a common citizen. That's something that is our responsibility to do. We can't just leave it to others to do. We need to be involved. Um, mano a mano. Mano a mano. We need to be involved. We need to, to see for ourselves what's going on and to question what's going on and to make sure that our leaders are doing for us those things which need to be done. And not just... Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about any leader because they don't deserve it. They work hard. But the whole idea is the whole... It, one of the things that I'm finding is the fact that people do not trust government. And it's because of some of the things and the way they appear to have been handled. And so that's one of the things that is really bothering me right now because I see a great deal. As I, as I travel down to Honeydew for the Postal Service problem or I'm in Petrolia and Ferndale over the windmill situation or if I'm in the Lolita with their building, uh, community building project. It's not a building as in buildings, but it's a community getting together to improve their, uh, their community, their area, of, it's the city of Lolita. And as I get together with everybody, I'm seeing the same, the same comment made. It's the we's versus the they's. And this has to stop. We need to come together uh, in collaboration and consensus creates community. And that is my theme. We talk together, we work together, and we create a unity and a community. These are the things that are really important to progress. We, if, you, if you're working in terms of, well, let's cooperate, what you're going to see are people feeling that they have these agendas and they have to give up this in order to get this, and then nobody's happy. What we need to do instead is collaborate to make meaning together, to use an old term from school, from, since I am a retired school teacher. It's the idea of coming together without agendas, coming together with a common goal, a common focus, and then saying, how can we make this happen? How can we make the economy better in Eureka, in Humboldt County? What are the things that we can do to make this happen? Prosperity 2012 gives us that opportunity, and I'm on three committees there, because I want to see economic growth happen. As a supervisor, I cannot do that. I can approve of the plans with the other four members that are, that are being created by the people in business and so on. But I cannot do that myself, but I can certainly be involved in what is happening and certainly make sure that I am knowledgeable about the things that are going on. And with that in mind, right now I am on three particular committees. One is the Railroad Feasibility Study, another is Harbor Revitalization, and the third is the vocational training aspect, because if you are going to be making a living wage job here in Humboldt County or anywhere, you're going to need to have more education. You're going to have to have a certificate or you're going to have to have those two years of education that makes the difference, that qualifies you for this. And, the other, and one of the things that we're doing, once again, is working with CR and talking about the kind of curriculum we need to build that will give you a well-rounded employee, not just with the head knowledge, but the ability to get there on time, to dress appropriately, to speak appropriately, and do all of the things that are necessary to be successful, to get that living wage job that will be able to buy you a, that, that affordable house and get you that nice little car. That's what we're looking at. We want a quality of life for all of the people in Humboldt County, not just a few. So there's a great new plan that's being developed through Prosperity 2012. But beyond that, what's good for Humboldt County, we need to look beyond Humboldt County. We need to connect with other entities, other states, other businesses beyond California. And so that's one of the reasons why we do need to look at the feasibility of an east-west railroad. Right now, we do have Tehama County on board. We have uh, Trinity County on board, all saying that they are ready to help support 
a feasibility study for an east-west railroad. If this east-west railroad goes through, if it is possible, we are going to connect with, with Red Bluff or Gerber, I believe, that the other city is. We have two ways of going east. And we need to take a look at this because, people, what that means is we can take shipments, not only ship our humble goods out, but we can take shipments from the Midwest and we can use our ports and ship the grain, for example, to the Far East. What kind of a wonderful opportunity is that? Look at the jobs that we can create with an East-West Railroad and a rebuilding of our harbors of our harbor. But you know, what what benefit can we have here? That's where we're gonna find possibly up to three thousand jobs. And then what happens? Tax base grows, we have more money in county government to work, we have people on the rolls, we have um, real estate selling at, at a great uh, at a greater rate, we have developers being very happy to develop to develop homes, business really begins. So let's work together to do this, to make it happen. No longer be divided between the we's and the they's, but let's come together as us. So, right now, obviously, I need your vote. And I need the votes of the people that you know. So, let's start, as Lupe says, Lupe Barrett, my very dear friend and walking partner as we door knock, and I want to, I, I, before I even go any further, I just really want to say thank you again to Lupe, to all of you, to Dwayne for coming tonight, for Carol, for Marge, for all of you, to all of you, and to more, to more, we want to especially thank Matt, he's been our intern. And this guy is phenomenal. He has just had more energy than Richard and I combined. And Richard Mastransky, most of all, my dear friend and campaign manager, uh, I want to thank you. You're the best. You really are. And uh, Susan Russell, so many. Susie Seeley, who's not here, and my dear newest flower in my garden, for Barbara and her husband, all of you, on him. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so very, very much for being here, my precious friend, Marge. All of you, all of you, all of you, thank you so much. And again, a special thank to Rita from Rita's Restaurants and her son, her son and daughter, Roberto and Nora, for giving us the wonderful food that we have tonight and their precious, precious love and loyalty as well. So I thank you so much, but we're going to do a whisper campaign. So when you leave here tonight, I would like to ask you, please, to call all of your friends that you know are in District 1 and talk to them about voting for me. And then ask them to call others to talk to them about voting for me. We want to make a difference in Humboldt County. That's why I'm here. I want to see a difference, and I want to be part of that difference, just like really you do. You want to be part of that difference. Let's make it happen. Thank you so much for coming.